Hey people, it's Michael from the Kids Library and welcome to another one of our 3D printing classes. If you haven't already, please check out the first 3D printing class I did it on our EPL YouTube channel. So in that one I show you how to sign up for Tinkercad, which is the website that we use for 3D printing, and it's also got some tricks I'm going to show you today. So the link to that first one's also going to be in the description of this video. So today we're going to be making something nice and simple. We're going to be making a spinning top. So it ain't no fidget spinner, that's for sure, but those are a little harder to make. But these are still pretty fun. And there's a couple different ways of making these that I'll show you. So let's load up into Tinkercad and get going. So I've got a couple of examples here to show you. And oh yeah, so a couple quick things about um, spinning tops. So here, let me break out the very scientific diagrams. So when you spin a spinning top, it'll stay up as long as you have the heavier part or the bigger part on the bottom and it's nice and even like you can't have the little handle at the top be on the left or the right it's got to be right in the center or else it'll fall over and then you'll be sad and I'll be sad yeah and so the other thing our spinning top needs though is we need a point to spin on so there's a couple different ways to do that so I've if you go to the basic shapes go down so the first way is this funny shape here called the paraboloid. If you drag that out, we can kind of make, if we make it smaller, we can make a really nice icicle shape. And then when we, we just flip it upside down with these arrows here, we click on the little curved arrow, type in 180. and flip it upside down. And then the other way is to use the cone shape because it's got a nice point too. So let's drag that out and make it smaller and then flip it upside down. Actually, we want it to be pretty wide. So the first one I tried to make, the one with the star here, there's a couple of problems with it. So, and oh yeah, if you want to move around the camera, you got to right click and drag a bunch. And I'm going to be doing that a ton because it's nice and easy to look at stuff that way. So, first of all, I got it kind of uneven because the star isn't the best shape to use. And so I couldn't get the handle right. And so this is probably going to fall over. So I wouldn't recommend using the stars. Cylinders work the best when we're making the um, tops. All right. So let's drag out a cylinder from here in the basic shape so we're going to make it shorter we can keep um, this the same size but we got to make the height shorter and then let's move it over to our icicle shape try and get it right, right and nice in the center okay and then this little black arrow at the top moves it up Right. Let's actually make it a little shorter. And then move it up again. Okay. After that, we can do stuff like we can add a couple more cylinders like I did with this one here. So we get another one, we drag it out. We're going to make it short and we're going to make it smaller this time. Then we're going to move it there, and then once we get it like right in the middle there, we're going to use that little black arrow up there and move it up. And then if you're having a little trouble getting it in the middle, you can use the arrow keys. Once we've got that, we can make a handle to spin our spinning top by getting yet another cylinder. We're going to make this one really small though. We're going to make it four. So if you click on this corner here, you can change how big the numbers are. So we're going to make it four and then four. And then we're going to move it on over. Try and get it right in the middle of our thing. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make it two by two. Make it a little smaller. 
Okay. Now let's move it on up. Put it to the top there. And now when we click and drag and select all of the shapes there, we go to this button here that says group. And now it's one shape. And for our cone uh, spinning top, it's a lot easier. You just need the cone. We're actually going to probably make this a little shorter. And then you want another cylinder for the handle. We're going to make it two by two like we did earlier. And then we're going to drag it to the middle. Let's get a better look here. And we're going to use that black arrow to drag that cylinder up, and that's going to be our handle. And let's select these two, click and drag. And oh, I got the shape into. Whoops. Okay, click and drag. And then we're going to press group. But these are a little boring on their own, so if we want to customize it, I made two here I can show you. This one I put a star here. This one I put some text here. We can add that to the top of our thing. And so since it's only like a little tiny bit sticking out, it doesn't make the spinning top too uneven. And let me just show you here with the big cone how I did that. So let's get out the star shape. That's the one I just kind of put on top there because it, it does look nice. So I'm going to shrink that down. I'm going to make it shorter. I'm going to make that probably like three high. And then this is really big. So I'm probably going to make this 10 by 10. Or eh, probably 15. All right, there. And so now I'm going to drag this to the cone shape I made. Same thing with the handle. We're going to try and get it nice in the middle. And then we're going to move it on up. And now let's try and move this a little bit more. Sometimes it can be hard to try and get stuff in the middle. And actually, I'm going to change this to 16 because sometimes when you have trouble getting it in the middle, you can just change it by, the, to change how big it is by like one millimeter. And now it fits much better in there. So now that we have that, I'm going to click and drag and we can group. So now we've got something nice on there. If we want to like say put a tiny bit of text or something like that to put our name or just like a tiny little phrase, I just put hi. Let me show you how I did that. So let's go all the way up here. In basic shapes, there's the thing that says text. We're going to drag that out. It's really big. So let's make our big thing that says text smaller. So I'm going to kind of change this. I'm going to use those arrow keys and try and make it line up better with our cone here. But after that, we're going to take the height, that little top thing here, and we're going to type probably, I don't know, four or three there and then we're gonna kind of compress this as much as we can and so um, how you change the text here is once you have the big thing that says text selected if you go to the top right the shape menu here on the top right it'll let you change it by typing in there so I have to change it to I don't know I'm just gonna put high again all right, and now to get that on our spinning top, we're going to do what we did with everything else. We're going to drag it to the center here. Oh, first let me get the star out of the way. And then we're going to drag this to center and then drag it on up to the spinning top here. And then once we make sure it's kind of just peeking out a tiny bit, not too much, we're going to select both of these and then group. 
And so, and it doesn't have to be like a star or text or anything. There's a couple different things you can do. You can do the little heart here. You can do tube, all these fun shapes. There's a bunch of other fun stuff too. You can make a little mustache or whatever and put it on there. And as long as you get it kind of looking like what the stuff that I have looks like, I wouldn't worry about it too much because if you want to print it at the library, they'll just adjust the size anyway. So, and I'll show you how to do that. So if we want to print ours, and it's free to do that, you can pick it up, do export on the top right here, and then it's going to have a bunch of different options. We're just going to pick the one that says .stl. All right, so now we've got our shape, it downloaded it, and it'll probably be in your downloads folder or whatever, and let me show you how to print it at the library. So if you go on our website, elmhurstpubliclibrary.org, you go down to, there's a bunch of different menu options here, create, and then make re-equipment here, and then there's a thing that says the 3D printer, user guide, all that, blah, 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 and then submit your 3D print here, and it's gonna take you to a form. So how you fill out that form, is let's drag it on down. You're going to need a bunch of different stuff, so you're probably going to need your parents' help. So you're going to put your name, um, probably your parents' email, library card number, and then you can choose which color you want. Unfortunately, it can't be multicolored, but you can choose. There's white, gray, black, green, yellow, orange, blue, purple, red, and then don't worry about typing the object dimensions here. And then, let's see, so to get the file so when we downloaded that file earlier and it named it something really funny like ingenious bigery turing so it probably put that like in the downloads folder or something so you do like choose file and then you can select it from there and then in the additional f information box here what you want to do is type in for 3d printing 1119 and so that's going to let them know that they're not going to charge you for that print and it's going to let them know how big to make it all that stuff and so you can pick it up at the drive up it'll let you know when it's ready i know we just had a bunch of stuff change and the makery is closed for people to visit but don't worry they are still happy to 3d print stuff out for you so i hope all of y'all learned something today and have a happy thursday